other videos. Now you might remember my head to head of the Japanese JDM sports car and the American muscle car. The Ford Shelby GT 250R versus the Skyline R. Now we're doing that video, or that type of video, again, but this time with more affordable cars, because both of those cars are like 100k, the Skyline is almost 200k, it's 150k, so we're looking at much more affordable options, the Camaro SS at 52 grand, and the Super Turbo Mark IV at 45 grand. Which car is better? We're going to find out in this head-to-head, starting off in the video. Starting off with the Camaro XX Acceleration to the burnout. It accelerates. It does accelerate fairly quickly, but half the driving stuff like the GT500, I'd say it accelerates as quickly as the RCF, which isn't that bad, but it isn't that fast either. It goes about like 168 as its top speed, which also isn't bad. So right now, the acceleration top speed aren't too bad, they're actually pretty good. But we're going to have to see how the Supra Turbo does in both of those stats. Let's go grab the Supra. Alrighty, let's get started with the Supra Turbo. Dude, the Burnout is launching, and honestly though, this car does accelerate quicker than the Camaro. It really does. Top speed is a 155, which is less than the Camaro, but not by too much. The Camaro goes like 160, not 168. So it really is just a 5 miles per hour difference, which isn't really that much. So the acceleration test and top speed test winner goes to the Toyota Supra. Yes, the Camaro has faster speed, but the Supra can get to its top speed quicker. Now let's go on to the handling test. Once again, starting in the Camaro. Alrighty guys, let's start with the handling on the Supra. Now I will say this, the Camaro does feel heavier than the Supra, I already said that, but Supra just feels so much lighter and more agile. And it really does show. This car does kind of oversteer though. But it isn't taking the turns as wide as the Camaro. It just felt easier to get around those corners in. So once again, the handling test winner. That is the Mark V Supra. Now let's go on to the braking test and see if the Camaro can redeem itself. Alrighty folks, let's get started with the Camaro's braking. So we gotta get up to full speed, which is 160. And there we go, brake, brake, brake. It does feel better than the GT500. And here we go. That stop too, which isn't that bad. Because like considering we started at like where this black area is, this this black piece of road on the map, like here I'll show you. This area from up to up here, it's not too much distance. It's like I don't know how to calculate miles. I don't know how to calculate them in the ultimate driving. But it isn't that far of a distance. It is pretty efficient. Let's go ahead and get this super. Let's see if the Supra will abolish the Camaro again. Alrighty, we're in the Supra, ready to test the brakes. Let's get going. We do 155, and there we go. And of course, because the Supra reaches its top speed quicker, it can get to its zero miles per hour quicker. Look at that distance, that is a pretty good amount of distance. And when I said the Camaro had good brakes, I really thought it did. And I even said, 
will the super abolish it again. And Kamara got abolished. Enough said. Let's go on to the next test. The final test. It's called the race test. Alrighty guys, welcome to the final test. The race test. Now if you remember from past head to head, I did two races in both cars. And I saw which one got the better time. That would make it the fastest car all around. Now I haven't done this test for a long time. Almost in a while. But I haven't done this test for a long time. So we're gonna bring it back. And hopefully it'll be a permanent stake in the head to head. So starting with the Camaro. Gonna do the burnout before. The race is starting. I have my fingers ready to launch the car. This car in races is that it oversteers too much. You're gonna have to fight the oversteer when you want to get around the corner. Or even just turn it the slightest bit. It does oversteer even at that. And the Supra scored a 16.365. Faster than the Camaro is 17.565. So let's go see which car won this head to head. This is the head. Now the Super has better acceleration, the Camaro has better top speed, Super has better handling, better brakes, and a faster race time. But all around, I find the Super just more fun to drive. And the ultimate winner, in my opinion, is the Toyota Park 4 Super Turbo. I'm not saying the Camaro is a bad car. If I were telling you to buy a car, I would say get the Camaro. The Camaro does make more than the Supra, which could help it and make it a better grinding vehicle. But the Supra is just better in terms of performance, but in grinding, I think the Camaro would win. But this is a performance test, and in performance, the Supra Turbo win. That's about it for this head to head. I will see you next time. Goodbye.